going to tell you about FinData, the new, well, it's not so new anymore, uh, but newish uh, social and health data permit authority that serves as a one-stop shop for uh, health and social data in, in Finland. Uh, uh, this is going to be quite operational talk because I'm the director and I'm, I'm in charge with the operations. So, so um, uh, I hope that you are familiar with the act on secondary use on, on social and health data a little bit. Uh, I have a few slides about the legal basis and the cornerstones. Then I have some uh, slides about uh, FinData's role. Uh, what do we do? our goals, um, uh, on our services. I have a couple of slides, uh, statistics uh, uh, about our concerning our, our very first year on operation, about the, the amount of applications and so on. And I hope there will be some time for questions and I will do my best to, to answer them also. Um, <clears throat> Some cornerstones for secondary use in Finland, and also the, the, the whole talk and the whole topic is about secondary use, uh, secondary use of registered data, uh, secondary use of, of data that is collected in, 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 in the primary care and in, in the primary use, and also in, in national registers. I will show you a, a rough slide uh, about the database uh, later. Um, um, we have very rich national re registers uh, uh, that 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 cover almost the, or practically the whole whole population. Uh, the quality is also reasonable, good. Uh, the time series are long. So, for example, um, in the Finnish cancer registry, we have all the cancers that have been diagnosed in Finnish people since uh, 1950. 52 or 53, I think. So, so it's very, um, uh, uh, they are more or less uh, recognized to be, be a gold mine. And the, we have also long, um, long um, history of registry-based uh, registry research, but still uh, those registries are, 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 are unused. Um, I mean, uh, uh, in a way that they could be utilized much more. Um, we have an opt-out principle in secondary use. Um, uh, so meaning we don't have uh, needing consent here in Finland uh, for registry-based research. Um, in in FinData, we have facilitated um, uh, uh, the opting out of the fin of Finnish citizens. And so far, we have received uh, about 210 um, opting out, um, um, uh, uh, opting, uh, people opting out, um, out of, of 5.6 million people. So in, in practically everybody is in. And of course, we have the personal identity code, which is uh, the same, same thing uh, in, uh, at least in all the Nordic countries and also in, in many others, uh, but uh, it's very important uh, because it's it's the key key to link link data. Um, there, uh, Lisa Maria and also some other previous speakers have been emphasizing the role of trust we have in the society. Uh, can't be emphasized too much. Uh, Finnish people trust the authorities to keep uh, them, their um, health data and sensitive data uh, secure and safe. Finnish people also trust that, that um, uh, giving uh, their uh, data uh, to be utilized in research will then benefit the citizens also in, 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 um, in, uh, uh, in means of, of better medicine, better health care, and better health and social uh, system. So, so um, that's um, a very valuable thing, and um, we are aware of that. We we try our best to to keep it unchanged. 
Um, the legal basis uh, for VIN data is Act on Secondary Use of Health and Social Data that uh, took effect in May 2019. I'm not going into the lead details, um, but it, it, it was, um, um, as um, Lisa Maria was already explaining, uh, it was a long process. It has been prepared to uh, at least uh, uh, two part different governments and uh, so it was uh, was was issued in May 2019. From Vin data, it's it's um, it acts as a constitution. It prescribes uh, our uh, tasks, services, uh, steering, uh, supervision, etc. Um, uh, above all, it gives Vin data the legal uh, authority. To grant practically all the um, uh, data that is uh, health data and social data that is um, collected in Finland and also the, the national registers. Um, uh, one uh, bullet about our status we are an independent authority, so we are not a network or we are not a project, we are a proper authority with, with the budget. And um, we are located in the connection of Finnish Institute for Health and Welfare, but we are uh, making our decisions as an authority independently. Uh, a little, little bit more about the legal basis. Uh, you can see the, the purposes um, uh, um, stated in the Secondary Act the purposes for secondary use. These are all activities that have, have taken place before. There's always been scientific research, teaching, uh, development and innovations and so on. But now, now uh, we have a legal basis um, for, okay, uh, there has been a legal basis for scientific research and statistics before, but now for the first time we have really a legal basis for development and innovations, teaching, knowledge-based management and, and authorities uh, activities. Um, uh, so uh, having clear or clearer rules for, for those activities, I think it's a very, very good thing and improvement uh, compared to the previous uh, situation. Um, here is, is, is um, once again the, the database. Uh, so this is uh, all about register data, um, the data that is collected in connection with the social and health services in Finland. Every day when people go to, to health centers to, to see the doctor and they are taking into a hospital, prescribed medicines and so on and so on, huge amount of data is collected and um, based on, on act on secondary use, we can then uh, permit it for research. The data is uh, um, more and more um, uh, stored in an electronic uh, health record system. It's not all there yet, but it's coming. Much of it is there already. Uh, we call it Kanta services. Uh, and there are also all the prescriptions that have been in digi digital form in Finland since 2017, I think, all the prescriptions in Finland. So that is in a, in a good way. Um, the national registers, um, uh, which are, as I mentioned, which and, and, and um, cover almost all the, all the population. Uh, most of them are located in the National Institute for Health and Welfare, but also otherwhere, also elsewhere. Uh, in the green box, we have the biobanks and genome data. Uh, Sini Dervo was talking about the legislation about genome data. Uh, this is, uh, and biobank uh, legislation exists already. Uh, they are preparing in the ministry a new version of it, but they, this legislation is on, on its way and net, uh, not yet um, taken effect. Um, okay, what we, do we do in FinData? Uh, we grant uh, data permits when the data is requested from multiple controllers. 
always and always when the data is requested from private and health uh, private healthcare units and when uh, data is needed from kanta services i mentioned the, the national electronic health record system after permitting the the, the data granting the permit uh, we will uh, collect the data we will require sampling from the data controllers they will be sending the data over and we will uh, collect it and, and uh, link it and process it meaning uh, pseudonymize or anonymize uh, depending on the case uh, we also um, um, based on legislation we provide um, electronic tools for applying data for handling it, for analyzing it, uh, for uh, moving it from or transferring it from place place to another, etc., etc. Uh, we also provide a remote access system uh, platform for the researchers where they can then um, safely um, analyze the data. We also provide tools for that uh, uh, in in an, in the environment. Um, help desk. We provide help desk. So FinData help desk has help desk has been very uh, popular. So for the first time, uh, we have one uh, point or one contact point in Finland where you can ask about the uh, availability, uh, about the costs, about the coverage, about the quality of the the data. We will do our best to answer, and if we don't. We, we go uh, back to, to data controllers and ask they have the substance uh, knowledge uh, there uh, where they um, where they maintain the registers. We also ha have anonymization services and this is all digital so um, uh, during, during the COVID pandemic uh, when we were um, uh, um, um, Establishing our services, we, we stra moved straight to the digital form. So um, we actually we don't have any physical place where you could come. Uh, it's all digital. Um, what are our goals? Uh, to enable effective and safe processing, um, to eliminate uh, overlapping administrative burden. So. Uh, uh, and one of the most important uh, or, or very central issues is the improvement on data protection and security. And we also uh, do data quality work. Uh, we, we lead the work uh, that, uh, that aims to um, describe the data and describe the data structures and harmonize the data so it, it could be um, uh, combined and used. Uh, more eff effectively and, and the interoperability would be improved. This is a very simple illustration about the situation before the Secondary Act and uh, from 2020, April, when we started to operate. So previously, a researcher would have to apply its data from uh, all the registers or all the data controllers separately. Now, she or he just writes, uh, fills one electronic form uh, to FinData, an application to FinData, and we then we will be then uh, collecting the data for you. The the old system was was um, recognized to be a bottleneck. It was recognized to be very time consuming, and then when the ways of operating and ways of of applying data. Were, were different from uh, data controller to, to, to another. So now, now we have um, one um, way to do it. Um, uh, we have in basically two types of data. Uh, you can apply for individual level data, uh, or you can uh, apply for statistical level data, which is always uh, given to you in an uh, anonymized, so it, you can quite freely use it. The individual de level data has to be used in the secure environment. 
um, our client path. I'm not going into details, but many of uh, many of our clients they first contact our help desk, uh, then they uh, send the application. Um, we are working on the app. We will be working on the app application and processing it. Uh, after that comes the decision and the data is transferred uh, to remote access environment for you to use. Um, I think Lisa Maria already uh, presented trust is a must slogan, but this is very important. This is something we are not compromising. So we go always data security and data safety first. Very strong actions are uh, here. So the data sets are, will be made available without individual direct identifiers always. And they, they are uh, allowed to be analyzed only in an, in an, in an closed uh, environment. We also have issued some regulations um, that presents the demands for such and uh, such an uh, um, uh, um, secure environment. Uh, we we have we have all the compliance uh, with the act is supervised by the ministry and by the data protection ombudsman uh, by the national uh, supervisory authority, and uh, they they are also controlling our environment and we are self-reporting it very frequently all the for example all the um, log information um, during the first year on operation uh, from uh, april 2020 to april this year we have received a total of 411 applications um, by the end of May, they were uh, 470. And by the end of May, we had a little bit more than 300 decisions uh, already done. So we have a queue and we, we are uh, working on it. Uh, from from the, the beginning, very beginning, we have been prioritizing the data for COVID pandemic, but I think we will be uh, um, the, the not continuing that after this summer. So we will, uh, we will, um, so we, the COVID uh, applications will be in the queue uh, as the others. Um, um, 77 percent of, of the applications during the first year came from the public sector. Uh, 15 uh, from private, and then they, we had some third sector and uh, individual appliers as well. Um, uh, the majority of the applications were for scientific research, some for statistics uh, and authority activities and uh, development and innovation uh, purposes. 